Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math question where we demonstrate our ability to find volume using unit cubes. Here's our question. It's a three-part question. Olga, Dave, and Peter each built a right rectangular prism using one-inch cubes as shown. What is the volume in cubic inches of Olga's prism? Please pause and solve part A now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're being asked to find the volume of Olga's prism. To find volume, it's length times width times height. And again, we're only asked for Olga. You've been given three prisms and we're gonna focus just on Olga's prism for part A. So we need to identify first that this is all one inch cubes. So in the preview, we've been told the information that these are one inch cubes. So each cube in this diagram has a volume of one because the length, width, and height. So length, width, and height of a cube are all the same. So one times one times one is one meaning the volume of each one of these cubes is one. So to find the volume of Olga's entire prism, we need to know how many cubes, one unit cubes, make up this prism. So we're gonna count that we have four, it's four cubes tall, two cubes wide, and then two cubes in width. So we can count them, so four by two, just this front right here, is eight. And then we can see there are eight behind it. Or you could do four times two times two. Either way, you're gonna get that there are 16 cubes, making it a volume of 16 cubic inches for Olga's prism. Here's part B. What is the difference in volume in cubic inches between Dave's prism and Olga's prism. Make sure to show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we are being asked to find the difference. Difference means subtract. It's the difference between two values. We're using volume again, and now we're comparing Dave's prism and Olga's prism. So let's bring forward that we know that Olga's prism is 16 cubic inches. That's what we found in part A. So to compare and find the difference, we need to find the volume of Dave's prism. Once again, each one of these cubes is a one inch by one inch by one inch cube, giving it a volume of one. So we need to find out how many one cubic inch cubes comprise this entire rectangular prism. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five tall, it is four wide and three in width. So length times width times, so length, width, and height, however you wanna look at it. Those measurements are interchangeable. So again, I could say that I have on this front layer, five by four gives me 21 inch cubes and I have three layers going back. So 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60, or I could do five times four is 20. 20 times three is 60. So however you look at it, Dave's prism is 60 cubic inches. Now we're not done because we were asked to find the difference in volume. So we're gonna take Dave's prism of 60 and we're gonna subtract Olga's prism of 16. So to do this, we can't take six from zero. So we're going to borrow from the six. So cross out the six, take one away, it becomes five and add the one to the zero making this 10. So now I can subtract. 10 subtract six is four. Five subtract one is also four, telling me that the difference between Dave's prism and Olga's prism is 44 cubic inches. So Dave's prism is 44 cubic inches more. Here's part C. Peter claims that the volume of his prism is 16 cubic inches. Is Peter correct? Explain why or why not. Please pause and solve part C now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So again, on part C, we're focusing on Peter and here is Peter's prism. 
and we're told that his prism he's thinking is 16 cubic inches. So we want it 16. We want to know if that's true or not. So let's identify length, width, and height. So we know that each one of these cubes that makes up this rectangular prism has a volume of one. He has a height of four, a width of four, and a length of four. So he has perfect cubes, and it also makes a perfect cube rectangular prism, four by four by four. So when we're doing length times width times height, four times four times four, four times four is 16 times that last four gives me 64. So is Peter correct? No, Peter is not correct. The volume of his prism is 64 cubic inches, not 16 cubic inches. It's likely that he added his measurements rather than multiply. So I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow, and please subscribe if you haven't and show your support. Also, click on that bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Have a great day.